we're looking at the uh, sum to infinity of a geometric sequence. And like I said, uh, we are just dealing with the common ratio um, between negative 1 and 1. Okay? And first thing we're going to look at, uh, let's look at uh, the sum of the first n terms, what we've already done. So let's look at not infinite terms, but just first n terms. Okay, so the sum of the first n terms, I've got this formula right here, which we've already covered. Uh, suppose I give you a, a series, and I say, let's, let's, find, the, let's find the sum of uh, the first several terms of this series. Plus 6, plus 3, plus 1.5, plus dot, dot, dot. Okay. So if I have this series, and I say, I don't, I'm not concerned about sum to infinity, but I'm just concerned about the first 10 terms of this sequence. Uh, okay, let's see, uh, the 10 terms of this sequence, uh, the first term, the first term of this sequence is going to give me 24. The common ratio is going to give me 12 divided by 24, which gives me 0 0.5, and I want to know the first 10 terms. Let's see what I get. And we'll use this formula here to find the sum, okay? Uh, 24 times 1 minus 0 0.5 to the power of 10, substitute it all in there, all over uh, 1 minus a half. I'll write that half as a decimal. And what do I get? Uh, some of the first 10 terms. Now, if I work this out on the calculator, doing it correctly, I'll get... Uh, somewhere around 47.95 something, okay? Big deal. All right, so some of the first 10 terms give me about 47.95. What about some of the first, say, 20 terms? What's that going to give me if I add up the first 20 terms of that sequence? What do I get there? All right, uh, everything's the same. Uh, uh, A is still 24. R is still 0 0.5, but N is going to be 20. All right, substitute these values into here and see what I get. Um, that's the same. Common ratio is the same, of course. And this exponent is going to be very large. Well, not very large, but 20 is a lot bigger than 10 if we're talking about powers. And 1 minus 0 0.5. Now, if I work this one out on the calculator, um, what I'm going to get is I will get 47.99995 something something. So basically 48. So what happens is that when I find the sum of a geometric sequence here, and I increase n as n gets bigger, and this is if the ratio is between these two guys, it's going to come to a certain value. It's going to add up to one, one number instead of just something like infinity or something. And why is that? Let's, let's see. It all has to do with this here. It all has to do with this guy right there. All right? Um, so if, I'm going to write this down, if my common ratio, and here's the whole thing, if my common ratio is between negative 1 and 1, as n, I'm going to say, approaches infinity, as n gets really big, okay, so that's what that arrow means, not equals, because infinity is not a number, but as n approaches infinity, as n gets bigger, what's going to happen to this thing, r to the n, is this is going to approach 0. So 0 0.5 to the 20th, if we do this on the calculator, it's basically going to be 0. Now, that's an important concept to understand because if n's getting really, 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 really big, meaning approaching infinity, and this is getting closer and closer to 0, well, this basically turns to 0, this bit right there. That turns to 0, which means that turns to 1. I'm going to say, so 1 minus that r to the n is basically going to equal 1 because that will give me 0. 
for all intents and purposes. All right? So that thing means therefore, if I want a formula for the sum to infinity, basically, it's going to be the same as this guy up here, but that 1 minus Rn equals 1, right up there. So my formula for the sum to infinity for a geometric sequence is quite simple. It's just the first term divided by 1 minus the common ratio. That's it. So let's look at one example of using that formula um, in a geometric sequence. So I say, okay, well, let's find the sum to infinity for this guy. All right, so we look at our sequence. We go, well, hmm, uh, is it a geometric sequence? First of all, uh, is it, does it have a common ratio? And let's see. Uh, does it have a common ratio? Let's see, negative 12 divided by 48. Is that going to be the same as 3 divided by negative 12? Um, I think it is. And I think we get negative 1 quarter. Well, we can write that as a, we can write that as a decimal. Okay? So check. Our common ratio is negative a quarter. And we go, oh, okay. That means it's between negative 1 and 1. That means my sum to infinity will give me an exact number. I don't know what yet. Uh, a is 48. Now we'll use the formula to find out what it equals. Okay. Well, pretty straightforward sum to infinity for this sequence equals first term 48 divided by 1 minus the common ratio, which is uh, negative 0 0.25. So sum to infinity equals 48 divi minus the negative is plus. So 1 minus negative 0.25 gives me 1.25. Okay. So that's that's sum to infinity using the formula derived from sum of first n terms.